The Boy and the Heron releases the achievements at the film festival. Crunchyroll announced the changes for the company. A 53-year-old YouTuber was pleaded guilty for copyright act. The Kickstarter campaign for Gundam Breaker Butlock graphic novel has been cancelled. Monarch releases a monstrous trailer. And the latest news on the fall 2023 anime titles including the theme songs for Bikuri Men, Ochibi-san gets animated, and the Idol Master Made Alive announced the release date. What's up, this is Jeff, and this is your anime news source. This is Anime Minutes. The official website of Studio Ghibli announces the details and achievements for the screening of Hayao Miyazaki's The Boy and the Heron animated film. The official Twitter page of CBC or the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation reporter Eli Glasner interviews the Vice President of Studio Ghibli, Junichi Nishioka, at the Toronto International Film Festival on Friday that Hayao Miyazaki's The Boy and the Heron will not be the last film for Miyazaki. He said that he is already coming into the office to create new ideas. Miyazaki has been working on his future Studio Ghibli projects. It also added that the animated film director Hayao Miyazaki will receive the Honorary Donostia Award and he will attend virtually at the San Sebastian International Film Festival to be held in Donostia San Sebastian in Spain from Friday, September 22nd to Saturday, September 30th. The Boy and the Heron is already released in Japan in July 2023 and already screened in international film festivals. G Kids announced the acquisition of the animated film to be screened in North American theaters on Friday, December 8th, with international screenings expected to follow. Deadline reports that Crunchyroll announced the changes for the company, including Chief Operating Officer Brady McCollum announcing that he is leaving the company and adding that Chief Marketing Officer Chita Weba Pagada will become the new Chief Operating Officer beginning in October 2023. McCollum has been working with Crunchyroll for 15 years and he has been working with the president of the company Rahul Burini regarding the transition. McCollum is one of the first employees of Crunchyroll which began in 2008. He served as executive vice president until August 2022 when he was promoted to COO after Pirini became the company's president. He also led the brand's international expansion and its commerce rollout. Other staff include Bart Bidan will become the chief people experience officer, Charles Ballantyne will lead the information technology and security team, Mitchell Bircher will lead theatrical, content distribution, consumer products and home entertainment or collectibles, as well as handle the manga publishing business in Europe, the Middle East and Africa, and Terry Lee will become executive vice president of emerging business while continuing to lead global business development and the games and e-commerce businesses. The Sendai District Court confirmed that the 53-year-old YouTuber Shinobu Yoshida was pleaded guilty to the violation of the Copyright Act and sentenced to two years in prison, a five-year suspension, and a fine of $6,700. US dollars. In May 2023, the Miyagi Prefectural Police arrested Yoshida on suspicion of violating the Copyright Act by allegedly uploading gameplay footage of visual novels as well as footage of anime. Yoshida had admitted to the charges and added that he understood that he was violating copyrights, but had continued uploading footage for financial gain. The Content Overseas Distribution Association or CODA said that the organization previously noted that Yoshida's arrest is the first in Japan made over an upload or stream of game footage. Legendary Comics announced that they will cancel the Kickstarter campaign for Sunrise's Gundam Breaker Batlog new build graphic novel and the company will revisit the project will be announced at a later date. The main reason for the cancellation is due to the campaign will not achieve its goal despite the time remaining. According to the Kickstarter page, the campaign has raised $41,992 US dollars out of the $80,000 US dollar goal on or before Saturday, September 23rd to produce the graphic novel. Gundam Breaker Batlog New Build is based on the Gundam Breaker Batlog project that extends the legacy of the anime and Nobuo Masuda of Bandai Namco Entertainment is writing the comic together with Nelson Daniel is drawing the art. Based on the Gundam Breaker BD game series that allows players to take various real-life Gundam model kits and use parts to create their personalized mobile suit. They also fight each other through versus or cooperative modes. Apple TV Plus posted the trailer of Legendary Entertainment's Monarch Legacy of Monsters and announced that the 10-episode series will stream worldwide on Friday, November 17th. 
The live action series takes place after the events of the 2014 film Godzilla and Anna Sawai plays Kate, a former school teacher and a G-Day survivor who travels to Japan to settle family affairs, but instead uncovers a family secret, one family's journey to uncover its buried secrets, and the legacy linking them to the secret organization known as Monarch. Other cast include Kurt Russell and Wyatt Russell as Army Officer Lee Shaw, Ren Watabe as Kentaro, Kirsi Clements as me, Cho Tippett as Tim, and Eliza Lasowski as Tobal. Chris Black is a showrunner and creator together with Matt Faxon is a co-creator, and Joby Harold and Tori Tunnel of Safe House Pictures and Hiro Matsuoka and Takemasa Arita of Toho are executive producers. The official website of Lotte's Mikuri Men and as of the details including the theme songs for the animated series that streams in October 2023. Danny May consists of Masa on vocal and guitar, Talila Tanaka on vocal and keyboard, and Yuno on vocal and kantoku are performing the opening theme song collection. And the cast for the animated series including Daisy Kajita, Shuta Morishima, and Tatsumao Tachibana are performing the ending theme song, Say Soon What You Gonna Do, where they are playing the roles of Yamato, Ushiwaka, and Jack. The story sends on two competing convenience stores, the Angel Mart and the Devil Store, as both stores are divided into allies and foes, and the battle of destiny is about to begin. Based on the popular wafer snacks produced by Lotte released in 1977, and it became wildly popular with the introduction of the Akuma and Tensei sealed series of stickers leading to a prolific number of media tie-ins. The official website of manga artist Moyoko Ano announced that the Diary of Ochibi-san is getting an animated show to be streamed on Saturday, October 7th, and announced the details including the cast and staff. The cast for the animated series is Manami Hanawa as Ochibi, a cheerful person who lives a free and easy life. He welcomes the new discoveries and acquaintances that come with the changing seasons. Daisuke Onisuka and Shogo Sugui are directing the series at the Animation Studio Studio Kara, and Kara is supervising and writing the scripts, together with Satoru Kosaki is the music composer. The series was published in Asahi Shimbun Japanese newspaper from August 2008 to December 2019 and released in 10 book volumes. The official website of Bandai Namco Entertainment's The Idol Master Mirror Live announced that the details including the streaming date that streams on Sunday, October 8th. The cast from the previous The Idol Master anime series that aired in 2011 is returning their roles for the new anime, including Kenji Akabane reprising his role as the producer of 765, together with Hocho Osuka is also reprising his role as Junjiro Takagi, and Juri Takita is also reprising her role as Kotoi Otonashi. Genta Nakamura is playing the role of the new idol producer, and Chika Ansai is reprising her role as Misaki Aoba, who came from the video game series. The series follows a new group of idols working alongside the idols of 765 Productions with a new producer at the 765 Theater Agency. Shinya Watada is directing the anime at the animation studio Shirogumi, together with Yoichi Kato is writing the scripts, Nantis is producing, and Bandai Namco Entertainment and Bandai Namco Studio are producing. Based on the mobile app was released on the green service in February 2013 and adapted into image songs and manga series. If you have comments or suggestions, let us know in the comments. You can follow on my official Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash news and subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash kifaboy. Well that's about it for Anime News Today is September 9, 2023. This is Jeff and this is Anime Minutes.